Hi fellas, this is schematic to the solution. Welcome back again to watch my another video tutorial. So I am really happy that you have given me nice feedback for making more tutorials like this. So let's get started. Today we are going to solve a question related to uh, physics subject uh, which in which we will discuss the topic of quantum mechanics okay it is the part of quantum mechanics so the question says radiation of frequency f and wavelength lambda is emitted when an electron falls from falls from energy level e2 to energy level e1 okay so at first let us know what is e2 energy level E2 and energy level E1 here is a relationship given E2 minus E1 okay before going to this uh, part okay at first we need to know what is E2 and energy level E1 what are energy levels energy levels energy levels are different levels of energy where electrons exist in quantized orbit okay energy, energy level is just the quantized orbit where electrons exist electrons exist in quantized orbit okay so here in here uh, e2 is the higher higher energy level high energy level and E1 is low energy level okay so therefore E2 has got more energy whereas E1 has less energy okay here is the electron residing in lower energy level so let's see what is happening okay so now we are going to excite this electron uh, by means of heating or applying high voltage high voltage electronic discharge okay we are going to excite this electron with high voltage electronic discharge or by heating anyone will do okay it's like a challenge that we are giving to this electron suppose it uh, this is a case which coincide with the incident in Rogue One Star Wars story. Okay, let us relate this incident with uh, Rogue One Star Wars story. Here, Electron is the girl, okay, who is about to face challenge. Okay, who is given the challenge? Here, we are going to give this electron a, a challenge. Okay, where it will face many obstacles and it needs to go upward over here okay so the electron will say this is a rebellion isn't it this is a rebellion isn't it i rebel then we will say we have a mission for you a major test is imminent we need to know what is it we need to know what is it e2 and how to destroy it so is that clear electron is that clear yes sir so the electron will go upward facing many obstacles killing many enemies just like in the rock one star Wars story so it will as we as it has gone upward it has achieved its goal success like the girl in rock one rock one star Wars story so it will come back as we have as it has accomplished the mission it will come back defeating many obstacles and it will emit a photon okay 
it price to its people so this is the photons okay so it will give out a photon so when an electron is now raised to a higher energy level electron is now raised to a higher energy level it won't stay there forever okay it has accomplished its, its mission when it accomplishes its, its mission it will fall back jump from this energy level to this energy level since it is a very exciting state okay it won't stay there forever in e2 okay so that electron would fall back from excited to lower energy state from low uh, from excited state to lower energy state uh, giving off a photon of energy equivalent to the energy difference del e okay this is the energy difference del e okay i hope that you have understood if you don't please let me know in the comment section okay so why it occurs because let's see why does this occur why does this electron falls back to its ground state or its initial state okay so this is because electron have the most potential energy over here it has got most potential energy over this point okay sorry for my bad handwriting so it has got most potential energy at this point so when it is in the higher energy level that is in e2 it has got most potential energy that is in the excited state this is excited state this e2 is excited state okay so when the electron is in the lower energy level it has got the least potential energy obviously because as it falls down uh, potential energy decreases since it has transferred into a photon okay this potential energy is transferred into a photon okay so here we have got least potential energy okay here in the low energy state this is the low energy state in low energy state this electron will have least potential energy that's because uh, most of the potential energy is been converted into a photon okay in addition in addition to this we need to know that electron jump is discrete that means it will fall rapidly okay it won't fall slowly gradually or anything else it will fall rapidly giving off a photon okay so from here we have understood that when an electron jumps from higher to lower energy level from higher to lower energy level all potential energy is converted into a photon of energy this is called a photon of energy when it is falling from higher potential to lower potential energy giving off a photon of energy okay so let us see by calculation okay
so we have known that energy difference is denoted by del E which is E2 minus E1 which is also the energy of photon that is emitted okay so here it is this is the energy change or energy difference that is the energy difference E2 minus E1 okay that is equivalent to the photon that is emitted here okay so this is the energy of photon okay uh, we also know that the equation v is equals to f lambda where v is the speed of wave any wave uh, f is the frequency uh, and lambda is wavelength okay this is the basic equation that we we have known in the earlier classes in linear classes okay so from here we can replace this speed of wave with speed of light since all electromagnetic radiation travels at the speed of light that is c is equals to f lambda and we can rearrange this equation making f the subject that is f is equals to c by lambda okay so we will replace this f with this one so hf that is e2 minus e1 is equals to hf uh, we will replace this substitute this f with this equation that is c by lambda so the overall equation comes like this hc by lambda okay so from here we have used the concept del e is equivalent to a photon emitted we have just used this concept here that is that is the energy difference here is equivalent to the photon that is emitted okay the energy difference here is equivalent to the photon that is emitted here that is the energy difference that is the energy difference is equivalent to the photon that is emitted here okay so that's all for this concept so let us see which should be the answer so let us match this equation with the answer okay that is e2 minus e1 is equal to hc by lambda so the answer should be yeah b you have guessed it right the answer should be b hc by lambda so i hope that you have understood the question as well as the solution of this question So if you have any question, let me know in the comment section, okay. If you have other problems regarding this topic, let me know in the comment section also. So thanks a lot for supporting me. Without your support, I wouldn't have succeeded until now, okay. Sorry for my bad English. 
and are, and as always stay awesome and peace with chemistry and peace with physics peace with physics